In 1781, Kempelen, the inventor of the chess-playing machine, presented his creation to Emperor Joseph and Grand Duke Paul of Russia in Vienna. The mysterious chess machine consisted of a figure of a man dressed in traditional Turkish clothes, who was sitting behind a table with a chessboard. The figure played with many well-known chess players of the time, and mostly won. The Turk always started the game, raised his left arm, moved the chess piece, and then put his arm back on a cushion. Even Napoleon faced the chess machine in 1809 at the Schönbrunn Palace and lost. Eventually, the chess Turk also competed against Philidor. Although Philidor won, he explained afterwards that it had been one of his toughest games ever. The machine actually worked with strong and short chess masters hiding inside and using the arms of the alleged robot from within. Although many people, including the famous writer Edgar Allan Poe, suspected this was the case, no one was able to produce any evidence. The Turk then changed hands several times and continued his world tour for more than 80 years, eventually being donated to the Museum of Charles Wilson Peale. In 1854, the museum was destroyed in a fire, and so was the Turk. It is said that, through the struggling flames, the last words of our departed friend could be heard in a whisper. Echek, echek. <laughs>